Every year, Japan welcomes newly turned 20-year-olds into adulthood on Coming of Age Day. But while the class of 2010 wear the same kimonos as their predecessors and smile the same smiles, every year there are fewer of them. The birth rate's been dropping more or less steadily for the past four decades. And three years ago, deaths began to outpace births in a trend that's set to continue. The population's projected to fall back to 100 million, where it was in 1970, as we approach 2050. And the average age is rising faster here than any other nation. Already this year, close to a quarter of the population are over 65, the standard retirement age. It means lost productivity and slower growth. It also means businesses need to adapt right now. Companies that are totally dependent on the domestic market for their end demand, to me, are going to be very, very challenged, right? How do you find top-line growth um, in this market, right? The pie is shrinking. Brewers Santori and Kirin are planning to merge to raise overseas revenue as a shrinking population cuts Japan sales. And Lawson plans to give itself a facelift because it says the elderly see convenience stores now as more of a hangout for young people. We want to change totally by dealing with maybe medicine or, you know, medicine-oriented products, so forth, so that uh, we are more friendly for the elderly people. The medicine for Japan needs to be rejuvenation. The pressure's on the government to fulfill its promise of expanded daycare and more affordable education, and not just offer parents cash handouts as an incentive to have children. Still, the signs are encouraging. I come from a family of three brothers and sisters, so I want three kids. That way, it's more fun. <laughs> if you have kids, your home is warmer and life is more enjoyable. As Japan enters a new decade, it needs to step carefully to move on from the last 20 years of economic stagnation, which up till now is all these new adults have ever known. Mike Fern, Bloomberg News, Tokyo.